Tom Edwards, BBC London. They certainly are. And Tom's got more analysis on that story online and on his blog. Uh, just head over to bbc.co.uk forward slash London or, of course, by using the BBC News app. Now, more than six years since the Grenfell fire, which claimed the lives of 72 people, there is still no permanent memorial. A second report by the Grenfell Tower Commission has suggested a space should include a garden, a monument and dedicated area for the private expression of grief and mourning, and that construction could begin by 2026. But as Lakshmi Gopal reports, survivors and local residents are frustrated by the slow progress for plans for a permanent memorial. More than six years on from the Grenfell fire and not much closer to getting a permanent memorial. That's the feeling of many in the community, despite a new report on it being published. And without that, healing can't truly begin. It affects the community that have to live here on its doorstep and it affects the families of the deceased because that is where their loved ones died. That is their place, if you like, their sacred place. That building is a really enormous uh, elephant in the room. Progress has seemed painfully slow for families of the 72 people who died in the fire in June 2017. Last May, the first report was published setting out memorial ideas from the Grenfell community. Now, a report is out with recommendations, including having a garden, a monument or artwork, and space for grieving. The design of the memorial could start in 2025. Building work could begin in late 2026. So why is it taking this long? The issue now uh, is timing. The issue now is crucial decisions about the future of the tower itself. And importantly, an unequivocal commitment to keep this community at the heart of the planning process. What it says in the report is that some people would like to keep some of the towers, some people wouldn't, that they'd like a, a fitting and, and true memorial and that it would be peaceful. I mean, these are all things that were that everyone knew, but it doesn't actually have any conclusions from them. What's your reaction to the time frame in the report? The biggest issue, and the one that isn't in the report, is what happens here. Because what happens with the tower is the most important decision, and that decision rests with Michael Gove. We put this to Michael Gove, but he wouldn't address that point, instead saying his department would continue with the commission to take forward their recommendations for a lasting and fitting memorial to honour those who lost their lives in the Grenfell tragedy. For those in the shadow of the tower, while the long wait for a lasting memorial goes on, their grief continues to be left in limbo. Lux Gopal, BBC London.